my name is Juliet and I'm an integrated body worker. I help active professionals permanently alleviate pain through physical, emotional, and energetic alignment. Today I'm talking about the hip shoe. The hip shoe is pain in the back of the hip that no matter how much stretching just doesn't go away. Um, and I'm going to explain the hip shoe, the hip issue, um, through a story. So the other day I was in a coffee shop and I was working at one of those community tables um, just so I could you know, spread out you know, and take up some space. And a group of moms came in and, and sat down next to me. And one mom said that she has been having right hip pain. Um, so of course my ears perk up just because I want to know what's going on and know if there's something that I can do to help. Um, so she went on to say that she does yoga three times a week, she's gotten massage, she stretches it all the time, it's been going on for a while and she's so frustrated because nothing really seems to help. So I'm kind of a posture geek and I just started to observe her and see if there was anything that I could see in the way that she holds her body or the positions that she puts her body into that could be giving her body pain. I don't know if you know this, but 60% of the pain in your body can be eliminated just by putting your body in supportive places. You know, if you always you know, stand um, on this leg, or if you always lean to the side when you lay on the couch when you watch TV, if you could put your body to a more centered and more balanced place, you wouldn't be having that pain over here or in your butt or maybe in your shoulder. Um, so, so yeah, so I watched her, um, and what I noticed was, so she, she said that she had right hip pain, um, so the whole time that she was there, her right ankle was crossed over her left knee, and she was either leaning back, you know, sipping the joe, um, or leaning forward and putting her, her chin on her hand. Um, but this was always the position that her hip was in, her leg was in. And when she walked, I stayed a little bit longer than she did, when she walked out, her right toes were rotated about 45 degrees, which is kind of a lot. Um, and the left toes were parallel. They were pointing forward. Um, so the, the muscles that rotate your leg out are in the hip. They're called the deep six, the deep six lateral rotators. Lateral rotation is rotation away from the body. Um, and so those muscles are held in a shortened position this position holds those muscles shorter um, for a lengthened period of time. So they could be contracted or engaged um, and just not letting go, or they could just be shorter because they're in this position a majority of the time. Um, so what I want to explain to you is the body is all about balance. So for every action, there's an opposite action. So all the muscles that do lateral rotation are um, counteracted, counterbalanced by muscles that rotate the leg the other way, and that's called medial rotation, rot rotating the leg toward the midline, or you could rotate the arm, you know, medially um, toward the midline of the body. So, um, I, I also want to mention that I work with a lot of dancers, um, and the dancers that work mostly in rotation, you know, like the, the ballerinas, they spend so much time in this position that the muscles that rotate their legs back to parallel aren't very strong because they don't use them, they're not developed. Um, and so they're all, the dancers that I work with are always so um, surprised when their miracle cure is just a strengthening exercise in the opposite direction. Because when those muscles feel painful, it feels better to stretch them because they feel tight because they're in a shortened position for a long time. But it's not always, I mean sometimes it can be that those muscles are tight, but if you're constantly in this rotated position, um, they're, the muscles that oppose them are weak, you know, because they're not being able, they're not allowed to work. They're not, you're not giving them a chance to. So the exercise that I'm going to give you is going to strengthen those muscles. So here's the exercise. You're going to start with your feet about hip width apart, and instead of fully extending the knees and locking them, you just want to have them soft, so you just want to unlock them. And you're going to use two fingers from each hand on the wall in front of you. So you'll face the wall. I'm facing away from the wall so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and the point of this exercise is to keep your hips 
stable. So you don't want any movement up, down, forward, back. So if you find the, the pointy parts of your hips, you just want to keep these in alignment. Okay, so you'll start with a nice big belly breath. And on your exhale, you're going to bring your belly button to your spine. Now you're going to shift the weight to the left leg. That's where we'll start. And you're going to lift the leg to a 45 degree angle. Not directly side, but up at an angle. And now, you're going to turn your toes in. This will activate those medial rotators, the muscles that bring the, rotate the leg toward the midline. So, you're going to keep these hip points stable. Keep the toe in, and you're just going to pulse 10 times. You really want to keep everything in alignment. Good, and then you'll come back to center. Then you'll take a nice big belly breath. Exhale, bring your belly button to your spine. Shift the weight to the right leg. Lift the left leg, remember 45 degree angle, toes rotating in, and then you're just gonna pulse 10 times here. So you should be feeling something in the outside of the hip when you're doing this exercise. If you don't feel anything, make sure that the leg is at a 45 degree angle and that the toes are rotated in. When you've done 10 times on that side, come back to center. And then you'll repeat it two more times on each side for a total of three times. So if you have hip pain and you've tried all the stretching and all the massage that you can do and you still have the same pain, I invite you to try this exercise and see if it works for you. If you know anybody that would benefit from this, I would love it if you would share with them. You can social share anything you want to do. Um, and if you have anything else that's kind of a nagging pain that's bugging you and you just can't really seem to, to shake it, send me an email, um, comment under this video, go to my website and leave a comment under this blog post. Um, anything that I can do to help you get out of pain, I would love to share any information that I know. So I hope you have a great month. The sun is finally out and spring is actually here. I'm so happy about that. Take care and be well and I'll see you next month.